memories, footprints covered by thin layer of snow, and they tell me this is home. Cryptic daydreams and lonely houses, great glow of death, abandoned rooms where moths get dead on the floor, faceless icons on the wall. They have no stare to penetrate a single soul. Against the gloomy winter skies, frozen water drops gleam like diamonds in trees. And embers and ashes seem as one. They have the color mixed gray and red, like these blood-written words on these pages of a book no one reads. The stars align. Colors and sparks of many dreams still untold, from a bright evening to darkest fall. Dreams might have betrayed me, but they've taken on other forms. Through the mist of years, faces and stars, as the green meadows turn to rot, like a cloak of madness at the break of dawn, unveil the present yet unborn. And those times have their ways. Seek the depths of self, lift the iron lids, while the whole world burns. Whole theater of flesh and bones. It is the quest, if you will. Upon oceans so vast, lay the truth hidden beneath the seas from mankind's tears, and that tide is unbearable. Behind old hills, there are many parts. Depart from sorrows of earth, those which lead nowhere. And the green moss and dew, they flourish as all living. It is not death that has such a tendency to glow, black, white, grey, and with scale of colors. So it is written, and so it shall be done.